Hey yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Don't Blink, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Uh, so today I'm doing something a little different. Um, I'm not streaming this. This is actually just being recorded locally to my own computer system. So yeah, it's going to be a lot more different than just what you would normally see on a live stream. Hopefully. <laughs> um, we'll find out later. Uh, I ha I'm doing this on a tinier version of the screen, and I'm actually going to fix it because it's disgusting to look at. I cannot do it. Okay, so turn that off. And now I'm going to lose my actual capture. Yay. Okay. Anyways, look, I love Mass Effect so much that I, I just wanted to kind of uh, express some stuff real quick. Uh, one... We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. Well, shit. Okay, fine. I'll I'll take it from the count. Was this the Vermeer mission? Ah, uh, don't give me the fucking Vermeer mission. Commander Shepard, we received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. You didn't seem that interested in helping me before. Why now? The council agreed that Saren was dangerous, Commander. That was why we made you a Spectre. We only balked at unleashing the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Nobody on the Council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest information. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Yup. It's the fucking Burmire mission. Several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be no. in a situation where they no, can't proper oh, God. communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Oh, this is a fucking Vermeer mission. Fuck! The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Listen, I like the Vermeer mission. It's not bad. I forgot that it was this close to everything else. Okay, listen, I just fuck. Okay, this this is upsetting. Anyhow, we only want you to be aware of all your options, including Good luck, Commander Shepard. Burmire is a piece of work, and I have to play that on stream. Fuck me. Okay, so I just wanted to do the uh uh. Oh, what the fuck was the planet again? A cold planet. There's a cold planet. What the fuck was the cold planet again? Ah, back. Honestly, I was, I was having some problems getting this to work earlier. Uh, oh, Novaria. That's what it is. So I was having some problems getting this to record. Uh, I finally figured out what was wrong, and I think it was just the fact that my PC needed to update. Also, I accidentally messed something up with my uh, settings. So, hopefully now everything's working properly. Yes, there's no webcam, but then again, you have to understand, I have changed a lot of things. The first thing that has changed is, uh, this is actually a recorded session. This is not me actually giving a fuck about streaming. I just wanted to go back to what my channel used to be, which was just recording. And now, now that I have to worry about, oh, are people going to watch the stream? <laughs> Listen, this is very easy. I can sit here for about six and a half hours, which I think I've done maybe once or twice, playing Mass Effect or some other game. Just six and a half hours. Ah, oh, it's my day off, whatever. We're just playing some video game. Hey, yo, welcome to the channel. Yeah, six and a half hours, done deal. Now that I have to live stream and I have to worry about work at the same time, it's like, do I, do I just, ah, dude, it sucks, it's all, it's all bad, it's all really bad. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that How come every time there's a problem, you end up running to me? You're a Spectre, Shepard, and this isn't some run-of-the-mill mission. There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. 
Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Uh, what if I said no? Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the council, but you're still human. It's disgusting. You're still part of the, the face is disgusting. And right now we what did I do to fuck this up? The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. I barely pulled this off on fucking veteran. You want me or er, veteran? I barely pulled this off at insanity. You think I can pull it off, fucking veteran? Jesus Christ. Okay, listen. I was really hoping you'd say that Edie was the one that was fucking your shit up. But apparently motherfucking not. Whatever. Listen. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. So, again, this is on PC. I hate PC. PC's awful. Why? Why did you make this? Ah. Uh, why'd you make it without controller support in the first fucking place? Like... I can I can understand not really having the system hard drive to do controller support, but the fact that my own fucking computer apparently supports Halo on Max, uh, on like the utmost of fucking uh, what's it called? Graphics, graphics. That's the thing I'm talking about. Graphics. So listen, Halo I can play on Max graphics, but. For whatever reason, computers back in the 2007 age could not even handle half of the shit that's going on in Mass Effect. Somehow! I don't know how. I was on PC gaming back then. Listen, all my PC was able to do back when it was hooked up to the Ethernet, uh, was it was able to go on the internet. I was lucky. If I was able to, you know... Just, just watch YouTube videos. Uh, most of those YouTube videos were, you know, the 13 second ones that wouldn't take up too much data or whatever the hell it was back in the day. I'm that old where Ethernet was a thing and then got slowly phased out by Wi-Fi. And my mother called it Wi-Fi uh, three years. It's disgusting. Oh my God. It's absolute it's absolute shit i hate it i hated it however you can't deny progress and stability uh wi-fi has gotten better since uh fuck when was that when would that have been since like 2010 i want to say that's when the first wi-fi routers were starting to come into existence uh, my mother and I never actually got a Wi-Fi router or any anything of the sort until probably about. This is the SSV 2013, I want to say, when we got the PlayStation 3. That was the first time I up or well, the first time I played Mass Effect 3 or Mass Effect uh, 2. Mass Effect 2 was the first uh, Mass Effect game I played. I was like, oh my god, this game is amazing. I can't wait for the next one. Then I found out the next one had already been out for about two years at that point. Or about a year, year and a half at that point. Uh, after I beat Mass Effect 2. I was like, well shit. Let me go buy this. Or let me go beg mom to uh, buy me Mass Effect, uh, Mass Effect 3. Uh, mom did buy it. Because it was $60. Um, and at the time. At that time. You were able to work as a 14-year-old to uh, get money. 
I didn't mind it. I was like, I was like, yeah, whatever. Who the fuck cares? It's it's work. Greatest work is work experience of all time. The one thing I learned from the job that I had, which was at a Culver's, was this. the The thing that I learned was you can't you can't actually half ass the job. And I was like, it's it's all that you got. If you if you fail to show up for the job, if you fail to to do what is expected of you at that job, yeah, you're gonna get fucking fired. And you know what? For me, I just, I didn't have the problem of, I sucked at my job or I didn't show up to my job. It was, it was just, I'm on important business. It, was, it was just, I messed up a couple times with, uh, uh, with, with handing out cash. My drawers were always short. It's like, I didn't technically suck. If I sucked, yes, I can understand them being like, you're fired because you're an absolute idiot and you don't understand anything about your job however there's some shit going on here mainly uh people on ovaria trying to take my weapons and i'm going to keep my guns nobody takes my weapon charge and lock we are authorized to use lethal force you have to the count of three to surrender your weapons you have the count of three to surrender your weapons let's fire stand down We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Parasini san. Woo! There's some Japanese for you. Well, not really. But, I mean, hey, you know what I just realized? I have no face cam. You can't see anything I'm doing. So, I could be shirtless, pantless, and I'm about to do both. That's holy Fucking Christ, is it hot as absolute fucking nuts in this room? I have a tortoise. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today. It's very asleep right now. It's good tortoise. I love tortoise. But still. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. She's a threat to galactic peace. I'm here to bring her in or put her down. The Vor doesn't like having outside problems dumped in its lap, Commander. Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Fuck Analeas. I have Spectre clearance. Tell me where the fuck she is, and I will go there, blow her goddamn brains out, or talk her into suicide. One of the two. I forget which one happens with this mission. However, there is one thing I am for certain of. I win. So, meh. Anyways, where's Annalise? I find the administrator. His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Oh yeah, no shit. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? There's a reason AI are banned here. May I present one word for you, madam? Gaffs. Yes. The assholes and the bane of the goddamn corings. The reason why they have to wear their suits. The reason why my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful... <laughs> you devil. Tally must wear her suit. AI are illegal in the galaxy. I don't give a fuck what you say about how valuable this planet is. AI are illegal. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. Commander, it might be wise to bring Dr. Tissoni along. She knows her brother better than any of us. 
Oh, no shit, Garrus. We're going to do that later. Anyways, um, to be honest, I don't know why I brought Tally. Uh, second after that, yes, Tally. Beautiful. Still AI illegal. Tally, tell them. So before we carry on, um, <laughs> you might hear a lot of weird noises in the hallway now because we did tear up the carpet a couple days ago, and um, whenever you wear shoes on the floor, it sounds like somebody's stomping through the hall, no matter how lightly you step. Uh, I, I found that out the hard way when I was listening to music while I got super drunk, and um, yeah, I, I, was just, I was just walking through the hall, and I'm like... Just going, tiptoe, and all I heard was thud, 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 thud. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's no sort of sound suppression in my room right now. I really wish at some point after I got all my bills paid or my phone bill, whatever the hell. Uh, hopefully on Monday, as long as I don't spend any more money this week, uh, I will be able to get some sort of, like... Just, I just need, like, empty egg containers so I can just shove it on the fucking walls and just be like, hey, noise canceling. Uh, because I was looking up some D DIY stuff uh, about how to noise cancel a, a room. And one of the things it said was use empty eggshell containers in order to, uh, in order to absolutely just kind of silence a lot of the reverb in the room especially if all you're working with is blank walls what i'm working with primarily i know you i know you guys can't really see it uh you should have within the first few let's plays especially face cam stuff um like to speak to One moment, please. everything i have is all yes, what, what? bare walls Commander it's Shepherd disgusting and i hate it you, right fine come in uh, speak, uh, and because of those bare walls, it, it's like, my voice reverbs off them real easily, so I could be leaning back all the way back here, and somehow still be able to hear me. Yeah, I did speak up a little bit, but still. Even without me speaking up all that much, I could, uh, I could still... Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. <sighs> Anyways, so as I was saying... I could lean back, you could still hear me. I could lean forwards, and you can hear me a little better. Maybe I even just whisper a little bit. But it don't work the same as ASMR. A the fuck was I going for there? Asthma. Asthma. It's the perfect thing when you're trying to just not get horny. Anyways, uh, Agent Saren, one of your Spectre compatriots. He's a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Denezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person. Mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at peak 15 that required Saren's attention. 
I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Well, you're going to be here for a while because what you don't understand no more questions at this time. Good. is that I will find a motherfucking way. Because, listen, I know you're part of the plot. There is a plot against all of the galaxy. And you're a part of it, sir. And if you don't wish for that plot to be exposed, why don't you just give me what I need before I absolutely destroy you? But if you wish for me to explain to the Citadel how you betrayed us all and made us all look the fool, I will gladly give you the opportunity. <laughs> Anyways, hey, I have a tortoise, and he looks kind of like a, a, a Turian. However, earlier this week, I looked up how to find the uh, how to find out the sex of a tortoise, and you know what? It, I, it, it's, it's, I, but tortoise, pick up. I don't really want to look at the underbody of my tortoise. I can bludgeon pretty hard. Talk to Lorik Keen. We should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. Because he's a bitch. Talk to you later. Anywho. Very well. Okay, time to go. Listen, I like I said, I already know a lot of these mission objectives. I said that pretty much, I think, episode one or two. Uh, so yeah, like I already know a lot of the mission objectives. I know how to get there, and I know how to do them quickly and efficiently. What I don't know is uh like side objective stuff like i've always played the main quest objective i've always just push and push and push beat the game and said mass effect 2 here i come uh so we're just gonna complete this main objective uh because then we have burmeyer and uh ilos i believe are the last two uh quest objectives uh within the game Maybe, if I have the time, we are seriously running short. However, because Mass Effect 1 has been going by super fast, if I can just get a couple of good days of either live streaming or maybe one good day of absolute recording, dude, for sure, we can get the game done in about 50 days. With about a week to spare. Will it happen? Oh, hell no. No. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in binary helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement program. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Ah, uh, I believe if I remember this one correctly. 
I can extort her out of out of about uh, 750 to 1,000? Maybe, I don't remember. Oh, God. Let's just go for it. We're, we'll just go for it. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Please do. Maybe this time I'll listen. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Okay, so before we talk to Vargas or before we do anything else, I really have to use the bathroom. I will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, because this is recorded and not live streamed, I don't really have to worry about much. However, that's getting cut. I will be right back.
All right, we're back. So, um, all of a sudden my brain just kind of blanked out. What was I doing again? I don't remember. Hey, let's go back to Novaria. Six hours, huh? All right, this bitch. Anywho, uh, Lorik Keen. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help. You are the specter that just arrived, are you not? What can old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm Commander Shepard of the Systems Alliance Navy. It's too late for cover-ups, Commander. Your picture has been sent to every employee. They've been warned that speaking to you is grounds for termination. Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights Office. Taking a three martini lunch? You mean my loitering here? If only it were mere indolence. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Skip to the part where you tell me what you want and what you'll give me for it. Put bluntly, the administrator demands rent kickbacks from the companies on Novaria. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? Shut the fuck up. I'll do whatever the fuck I please. Anywho. Yeah. No. Uh, so, fuck, I was gonna say something and I forgot. Completely fucking forgot. So, I was playing, uh... The Mass Effect series on the PS3. Uh, just, just to, you know, have fun on my own. Uh, so I was playing on the PS3. Uh, then I played Mass Effect Andromeda. There's one thing I really noticed about Salarians. Uh, 